radio rama. Okay, there's a chance that even those of you who have watched the whole show multiple times never came across this one, so I won't get too spoilery with this, I'll just give you the broad strokes. To promote the mobile game Worlds of Tomorrow, a very special audio episode of Futurama was produced for the podcast that, at the time, was known as Nerdist. This was very exciting at the time because it was before Chris Hardwick was accused of being abusive. Coming to you direct from the 31st century, it's Futurama, the show that never dies, but is so sick it lost its video. In classic Futurama meta fashion, the plot involves All My Circuits coming back as a podcast since Calculon's voice box survived his multiple deaths, apparently. Hey, Bender, you're here too! Weren't you on All My Circuits once? Bite my shiny metal ass! <laughs> And yes, Amy, I was. Meanwhile, Fry built a digital 3D sculpture of himself for Leela, but she's so offended at him forgetting about her lack of depth perception that she dumps him again. This seems like a really low stakes reason to break up after the stuff they went through in the other finales, but I'm guessing the idea here was to do something that might happen in a classic episode of Futurama, so fine. That's it. Our on-again, off-again relationship is officially off. Again? Permanently. When they dump the sculpture on the digital garbage planet, Bender steals something that looks valuable. That thing turns out to be Klaxon, a vicious being made up of unheard podcast episodes, voiced by Hardwick. And remember, when you hear the strange noise, that's your reminder that Bender has a mysterious digital file from space in his chest cavity. Look, if you can't get past the Hardwick of it all, I don't blame you at all. But if you can, there's a lot of fun in this episode. The audio format gives the writers a chance to play with new jokes that they couldn't do in animation. What a magnificent nude sculpture of Fry. Nude? You can see every tiny detail, even his penis. It can only be described as a quasi-erotic masterpiece of three-dimensional meta-representationalism. And we finally learn the name of the Tales of Interest narrator. The audience was treated to the dulcet tones of the All My Circuits announcer, who happened to be yours truly, Don Cunningham. Let's hear what I sounded like. Hi, this is your announcer, Don Cunningham. That said, this thing probably has a bit too much plot for an audio-only one-off. There's a thread about Bender's mother dying of planned obsolescence, which is a very funny joke that feels like it could fuel a classic episode of Futurama, but the gag isn't really expanded upon, and that storyline takes a shift to going for emotional gravitas, and the shift is a lot clunkier than similar tone jugglings in earlier episodes of Futurama. Mommy, I'm scared. As Bender's ass chattered nervously, his mother reached out and gave him a reassuring squeeze on the shoulder with her vice-like gripper. But it's great to hear all the characters again in a fun adventure. And it showed another way these characters could live on. Which ended up being a moot point since they're just bringing them back in animation again. 